drawing. Hello once again, John Pry here with another Droid Does video. This time we are going to be talking about tethering, which is why you see my laptop in the background. Um, tethering, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically connecting your phone to your computer via USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, whatever the device is capable of, and using the data package you already pay Verizon 30 bucks a month for as a modem, um, basically to connect to the internet on your laptop. Great feature, normally with a Blackberry or a Windows phone, or, the palm, or uh, well the Palms don't do it either, it's an extra $30 a month on top of your, on top of your already $30 data package. Right now Verizon does not offer tethering on the Android devices or on the uh, Palm WebOS devices that they sell actually. My theory is they just haven't got the software to work right. Whatever. But there are alternatives. Uh, BlackBerry users are already probably familiar with an app called Tetherberry. Um, and this is you know, more or less the same thing. There's a BlackBerry version, there's a, a Palm OS version, there's a Windows version, uh, and obviously an Android version. I don't think they've come out with a uh, Web OS version yet, but they will soon. Moving right along, though, I do want to say one, one quick little disclaimer before we get started here. Um, using an app like PDANet or Tetherberry or anything like that even though it's still using the phone's functions that you're already paying for technically is a breach of contract um, it's in the fine print somewhere I do not recommend using this as your primary internet source at all um, kinda use it in emergencies you're somewhere and you realize you know oh crap my phone just fell but you know you realize hey oh crap um, you know, like you can't get good Wi-Fi service here, or you know, your Wi-Fi, your internal Wi-Fi chip in your laptop is busted for whatever reason. You know, something weird like that. You have a backup. Um, so that's that's really good to have. It does work on Mac. It works on Windows. Um, I've ran it on Windows Vista and Windows 7, and it both works flawlessly. Um, so we're going to get started right here. The free version is available in the Android market. Just uh, do a search for PDA Net. It gives you two things. It gives you obviously the actual application as well as a little widget that you can add to your home page. The widget lets you turn on USB or um, Bluetooth tethering on demand. So we're going to pull the application up. One thing you also do have to do is actually download the desktop clients. So we're going to knock my phone down again. We're going to pull the app up and click right here to enable USB tether. It's going to verify your internet connection. And while it's doing that, you want to look right over here. I've already disabled my Wi-Fi. So we can run nice and smoothly. And you're going to double click on PDA net and it's going to initialize and connect. So, you know, just like any other um, cell phone company based internet application you do have to connect on the computer so we're gonna open up another window in Safari and we're gonna pull up droidlife.com and it works speeds are pretty nice um, according now if you actually look on the phone itself it will actually show you your current uh, data transfer which isn't too bad um, how many ports you're connected to it actually shows you your battery life too which is interesting um, but as you can see you know you can surf around you know, very, you know I mean obviously at pretty comparable speeds with the uh, um, with, with you know just your regular DSL at home um, we're gonna go back to my top sites and we're gonna try um, another website. We're gonna try, let me just click on Android Central real quick, and it loads. Does it? With all the graphics on here. This might load a little bit slower. And we're also gonna try loading Engadget here real quick. And it's loading in the background. We have Android Central up. And we're going to pull Droid Life back up. And so, I mean, you can see it runs obviously pretty comparable with, uh, um, with you know, just your regular home internet 
I mean, again, don't use this as a replacement for your home internet. Definitely use it as a backup. So that's pretty much it. To turn it off, real simple, on the phone, click Turn Off PDA Net. And on the computer, uh, it turns it off automatically, actually, which is pretty nice. So that's it for me. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, again, PDANet.com, uh, PDA I do believe, is the web address. Uh, I'll put it in the description on this video. Just to double check, but I do believe it is .com. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.